Hey everyone, your Rococo motion capture is about to get another big update. Our new locomotion engine now works in real time with more natural poses and more accurate footlock processing as you perform your motion capture. We've also improved how the Coil Pro works with the locomotion engine. And finally, we've added a drift fix filter. This filter will make sure the start and end points of recordings overlap by adjusting root drift over the course of your animations. Let's take a quick look at each new feature and then stay tuned for more in-depth tutorials coming soon. So we recently updated Rococo Studio with a brand new locomotion engine that enabled much more accurate motion capture. However, you could only see those improvements after post-processing on a recorded clip. So here I am in real time, not recording, as you can see from the screen. And we can do this now because we are doing foot lock processing and also some pose estimation of what your body is doing in real time. If I walk around a little bit and do some motions, you can see how good this looks. You don't need to do anything to enable this. It will just be working the next time you boot up Rococo Studio. Ultimately processed Rococo mocap will always look better than real-time mocap, but real-time mocap should now be vastly improved. And this is great news if you're a VTuber and you do real-time performance, or if you just want better, more natural feedback while you're recording mocap. Finally, we've added a much requested feature from our community, a drift fix filter. This is a filter that works on recorded clips only that adjusts the root drift of your animation over the course of that animation such that the starting and ending points are in the same location. Basically what all that means is that as long as you are starting and stopping your motion capture when you're in the same place, say right in front of your computer conveniently, you can use the drift fix filter to improve your motion capture and remove some of your global drift. Let's take a look at this example, and you can see that even though I start and stop my recording in the same place, right in front of my computer, the resulting animation contains some minor drift. If we go into the details panel, we can click the drift fix filter, and voila, our mocap has been subtly adjusted to correct the drift. Another great thing about this update drift-wise is that idle root drift when standing, sitting, or doing similar animations has been greatly reduced. So in real time, when you do those types of idles, you won't see root drift to the same extent that you used to. We hope you enjoy all of these updates, and as I said at the beginning of the video, stay tuned for more focused tutorials on each of these features. Put any questions you have down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.